<laughs> oh, come on, pal. I know, but you don't feel good, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fix that. We just gotta get you in here first. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Monday. 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 Um, things don't always go uh, like you plan, and uh, today is. Up to this point has been off to an okay start, but now things are changing drastically. Um, we got up mostly on time, which is good. We got up at 8, had breakfast, started to go to work, um, was getting stuff done, things were going well. But I noticed that uh, Sega was in the bathroom quite a bit because where the litter box is, is conveniently next to the office. So when we're in the office, right across the hall, we can see into the litter box and also hear what's going on. And I looked over and I noticed that Sagan was in there quite a bit. Like he would go in and then like three to five minutes later he'd be in again. And after about the sixth time I was like, this is, something's wrong. So um, I went over and I cleaned out the litter box entirely so it would be completely empty because I was worried that um, maybe he was not able to go to the bathroom, which is not good. And uh, sure enough, he went in, after I cleaned it, he went in um, after another few minutes, and uh, whenever he walked out, I looked and there was like two, two little drops. And then two or three minutes later, he came back in, went again, two little drops. So he is, um, he's experiencing some like urinary blockage or whatever, and that is bad. Uh, that, is, that can be very dangerous. Um, if the cat can't pee, uh, it can be very, uh, it can be deadly. So the first thing we did was go, oh, that's not good. And then we immediately called the vet and, um, they can't make an appointment, you know, for us on the same day. They said, but just bring him in, you know, bring him in immediately and, um, we'll, we will fit him in because it is, it's, it can be a very dangerous thing. So male cats are prone to it. Male cats are prone to it. Um, he could have just, you know, not got enough water recently, so we're going to take him into the vet and drop him off and hope everything turns out okay. Sorry you have to go through this, buddy. It's not a good day for, for you. Sorry. So we dropped off Sagan, and since we were out, we decided to just grab lunch. We were going to eat leftovers here, but we can have leftovers later. It's not a problem. And uh, Kep, Kep has actually wandered around a little bit kind of looking for Sagan, like, where's Sagan? Maybe he's down the hallway, maybe he's, maybe he's not. But, um, you know, we dropped him off and we'll just get a call whenever. Um, they said that they will most likely have to put him under anesthesia and give him a catheter. Yeah. Um, it might not, that might not have to happen, but they said it's likely, so I had to sign a form that said, you know, if needed, they'll give him sedation. So, I mean, it, it's, not, it's not a great situation, but I am thankful that we work at home, that the litter box is in close proximity to the, the office so we can notice things like this and that we were able to catch it. So, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. But it also means that, um, yeah, most likely he was not drinking enough water and we have to figure that out. So, we're going to look at, uh, they sell these cat bowls that are basically fountains. And they encourage drinking because cats love moving water. So uh, we might get one of those. We have to look into them and figure out exactly what kind we want to get. But anyway, we're going to eat this food. And then uh, I guess we'll just get back to work until they, until they give us a call. <laughs> oh, he's happy to be out of there. Huh? You happy to be home, pal? Poor thing. Well, um... We have him home, which is uh, which is good, as uh, as you would expect. Um, we have some news, and it's largely good. I th I guess. I mean, it sucks that this happened, but as far as news goes, I think it's largely good. You okay, pal? You remember where you are? You remember what's going on? Sorta. So, um, so what happened was, uh, 
we, we thought that he had a blockage, and that certainly lines up to have um, for all his symptoms. And the vet checked him out and said that he actually didn't have a blockage, but he definitely had all the symptoms of it. And uh, this could be the calm before the storm type thing where uh, he's actually going to have a blockage within the next few days. So she said, that's, that's really bad. Um, you don't want that to happen because it is dangerous for the cat and you can fix it with a catheter. But when you catheter the cat, then you introduce new problems because then it's more susceptible to have issues um, in the future. And we don't want that to be the case. So if we can avoid the catheter, we want to. But um, Sagan didn't need the catheter today. He's back there just chilling out. Um, but they had to uh, they had to test his urine and he couldn't pee. They said whenever they um, they did an X-ray and they did other things and they said that his bladder actually wasn't even full, so his body was telling him he had to pee, but you know he didn't even have very much in him. So they gave him they gave him some fluids so he would eventually pee. He got to pee, and uh, they also tested his pee to see if he had any sort of infection or anything, and he didn't. So he didn't have any infection, he didn't have any um, sort of crystals or anything to indicate any sort of blockage. Uh, they're, to be honest, they're not really sure. They said this sort of thing generally happens when something in the cat's environment changes. Either the environment itself or the addition of a new cat or stress or new litter or new food. None of that has happened. So it's a little weird. It, it, it's a little weird. But um, they said hopefully we can you know, stop this from becoming a bigger issue uh, by um, starting him on some some different food. Uh, there's prescription food. We actually, we used to have them both on ID, uh, and this is CD, and it's for urinary health. So uh, Kepler will continue to eat what he's been eating, but Sagan is going to get cans of this prescription CD food. And it sucks. I mean, it. <laughs> It really does, especially because there was a period in in his life where he was on this food for a long time because he had terrible stomach issues. Every time he went to the bathroom, he had diarrhea, and his you know he would get it all over himself. Then he would need a bath, which he hated. Earlier this year, he had to have surgery on his tongue. You've just you've had it rough, little baby kitty. Huh? You've had it really rough, and I feel. I feel really bad for you. Anyway, he's got to eat this special prescription food for uh, a week straight. And it's wet food. we got to cut out dry food for him um, completely because it can actually exasperate the problem. And he's going to be on the prescription food for a week. And then after that, very slowly start to transition him back to uh, what he was eating. Um, and he's eating good food. He's eating um, blue. Um, so he's going to be eating blue wet. And we're probably going to have to cut the dry either way down or out completely um, because once again that can make the problem worse so between that and then also we have some um, uh, medicine to help with some of the pain and inflammation just because uh, his bladder wasn't even full and he keeps going into the bathroom to try and strain and get it out that can actually cause inflammation because he's straining so hopefully that will help him as well um, it's just it's a little upsetting because recently I did a vlog where I talked about how 2017 has been such an amazing year, uh, probably the best year of my life, and there's been a lot of happiness. And that's absolutely true, and I don't regret saying that for a second. Um, obviously, there's some detractors like how busy we are. We've been extremely busy this year. But the biggest detractor has been health. And I don't know what it is, but 2017 has not been our year for the entire family. Um, Mao has had issues with uh, her teeth and having a root canal and having like a faulty root canal and having issues with that. Um, I've had issues with my ears multiple times. Sagan has had issues, had to have surgery on his tongue. And then, of course, I had to go to the ER because I needed a emergency appendectomy. And then now this. And, I mean, between that and then the associated, you know, financial issues that arise from that, it's been a trying 2017. Like, very, very trying. It's been great. It's been, it's been happy, and there's been so many positives, but the, 
you know, when the negatives show up, it's like, holy crap, please, 2017, leave us alone. So I don't know, maybe 2018 will be better, but anyway. You okay back there, bud? Huh? Poor thing. At least he's not running into the bathroom now. They did get him to go. They gave him fluids and he was able to pee, so I'm happy about that. And I know that Kep's going to be hissing at him for the next few days, but they generally don't fight. Um, the hissing happens, but that's it. We'll just have to keep an eye on him, give him his medicine every 12 hours, and make sure he eats this new food, and then really cross our fingers that he doesn't get a full-on urinary blockage in the next few days because that's apparently common in this particular you know at this particular time um, it looks like it could be an early warning sign but fingers crossed everything will turn out just fine poor thing I feel so bad for you Sagan you have no idea so it's been a few hours and we're actually working on dinner uh, but Sagan is relaxing which is really good and he's not in and out of the bathroom every few minutes he's uh, spent a good bit of the evening just kind of uh, chilling on the futon, so I think it's just he's had a big day, and uh, I don't blame the little guy. Um, but we are working on dinner. We're doing chicken and roasted vegetables, which have another three minutes, and then we'll be all set. And uh, everything's everything's going pretty good. It, it's been a friggin' crazy day. Uh, it really, really has. Um, I'm glad that we were able to help Sagan and. and Hopefully get everything nipped in the bud, but um, you know it's it's been a crazy month. This week is crazy, and then to have this thrown at us all of a sudden, it's just like man. But I mean, you never know what what life is uh, is going to throw you. You never know what kind of curveball is coming your way. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Fingers crossed that uh, you know this this food helps him and uh, he doesn't have to go back to the vet and get a catheter and go through all that mess. Um, but we'll just watch him and take care of him and do the best we can. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?